So what exactly is a suga heater? The way it works is uh, it has within it fire clay bricks called shamot. And within these fire clay bricks are also the heating elements. So it's these heating elements that take the heat and then warm up the fire clay bricks. Then they shut themselves out and the bricks then radiate the heat through the ribs of the suka heater. How does suka heater compare with my radiator that's run off a boiler? What, what's the difference? The radiator in your house will be powered by a boiler, which is either the fuel of which is either oil or gas or coal. Suka is an electric heating system. And how easy is it to run, say, suka heaters alongside other types of radiators? Many people or many customers we have actually are using suka heaters as a supplementary heater because they love their fireplaces, don't you love yours? And what happens is that the fireplace produces heat, the closer you get to the fireplace, the warmer it is, the further away you get from it, the colder it is. So you have a suka heater in that area where it is cold and then it supplements the heat. But once the power of the fireplace becomes stronger and warms up the room, suka heater will shut out. How do you work out how many suka heaters you need in a room? What's appropriate for a room? It's very easy. Uh, the easiest one could say is we have the formula, the, 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 how to work it on our website. But we also prefer generally to talk to people because um, mostly some of our radiators come in different sizes. If you take, for example, a two kilowatt radiator, there are three or four types of two kilowatt radiator. Now, your room may require a two kilowatt radiator but you don't know which one to pick. So it's, also, it's always good and we prefer mostly, if possible, to talk to the client. I take it that these heaters are thermostatically controlled, so how does that work? They are, yes. They are thermostatically controlled. We have one, a system that, that's called the Integrated Thermostatic Controller. Now this system has a thermostatic sensor pointing from its base level, pointing on the ground, and that measures the temperature of the room based on the floor level. We generally call this the, the, the cure of the cold feet syndrome. That's, that's what we call that in Suka. Because it is, the, the room temperature will be determined by how much warm the floor level is. And if you live in your own home and suffer from cold feet because your heater's thermostat is on the wall, measuring your shoulder level heat, Suka heater does a different thing. And then we also have another system which is central. Uh, and that is what we call the remote control, uh, uh, thermostatic controller. You can put that anywhere in the room. It takes the temperature there and tells Suka heater how to heat up the room. And finally, I love central heating. You've got that lovely warm, cosy feeling. But it does seem to dry the air out an awful lot. So my poor plants wilt, my skin feels really dry. Am I going to get that with a Suka heater as well? No, absolutely not. What you get from Suka heater is what we call radiant heat and that doesn't dry out the air. Radiant heat is like, when you sit near a window, it is freezing cold outside, but the sun shines in. You feel this gentle warmth from the sun. Beautiful, isn't it? And that's what you get from Suka heater.